Now let us discuss the topic integers. Now before going to the topic integers, let us revise once again the concept of natural numbers and whole numbers. So what are the numbers which we use to count the things? Naturally we use 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So these numbers are called natural numbers. So the set of natural numbers is denoted by n, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So are these numbers sufficient in our day to day life? For example, what should be added to 5 to get 7? So obviously we know that 2. And what should be added to 5 to get the sum 6? So we know that 5 should be added to 1 to get the sum 6. And what should be added to 5 to get the sum again 5? Is there any number in the set of natural numbers to fill the blank? So obviously we cannot find any number. So actually 5 should not be added to any number. Means nothing should be added to 5 to get the sum also 5. That nothing is denoted by 0. So then 5 plus 0 equals to 5. Or 0 plus 5 equals to 5. So if you include 0 to the set of natural numbers, so we get another set of numbers called whole numbers. So the set of whole numbers denoted by W. So these numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So the natural number together with 0 gives the whole numbers. Here the smallest whole number is 0 and the smallest natural number is 1. Then are these numbers sufficient? Now let us see the different cases. For example, 5 plus dash equals to 0. So what should be added to 5 to get the sum 0? And what should be added to 7 to get the sum 0? So sometime we need to find the measurements like above the sea level, and below the sea level. So if above the sea level is denoted by the height above the sea level is represented by positive sign then below the sea level, sea level is represented by the negative sign. And even temperature also we measure like positive temperature and negative temperature like plus 15 degrees centigrade and minus 15 degrees centigrade. So these numbers are called negative numbers. So here 5 should be added to minus 5 to get the sum 0. And 7 should be added to minus 7 to get the sum 0. So here these numbers are called negative numbers. So if we include negative numbers to the set of whole numbers, then we get again that new number set that is called integers, the set of integers. So the set of integers z denoted by z or i. So this equals to 0 plus r minus 1 plus r minus 2 plus r minus 3 and so on. So in this there are positive numbers, negative numbers together with 0. So the positive numbers are called positive integers and the negative numbers are called negative integers and 0 is neither positive nor negative. Now let us discuss the set of integers in detail in this topic. Now let us see how to represent the integers on the number line. So first you take a number line. So on this number line First we mark the integer which is neither positive nor negative that is 0 and right side to 0 with equal intervals we represent positive integers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. So this arrow mark represents that there are infinite positive integers right side to 0 and the left side to 0 we represent the negative integers 
मनस वन मनस टू मनस थ्री मनस फोर मनस फाइव मनस सिक्स मनस सेवन मनस एट एंड सो ऑन सो इर आल्सो द आरमा रिप्रेजेंट्स देर आर इंडिफिनेटली मेनी नेगेटिव इंटेजर्स लेफ्ट साइड टू जीरो सो देन वी कैन राइट जेड इक्वल्स टू मनस थ्री मनस टू मनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन and here these 1 2 3 these are all positive integers and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 these are negative integers and here this zero is neither positive nor negative then when we add positive integer then we move to the right on the number line so on the number line now when we add positive integer so we move right so when you add positive integer we move right we move right side on the number line and when we add negative integer so then we move left side on the number line now when we subtract positive integer we move left and when we subtract negative integer we move right side on the number line so these are the different cases to add or subtract positive or negative integers on the number line